Syndrome X is a term that first began to be used about 30 or more years ago to describe a group of patients, mainly middle-aged women, who would present with symptoms of angina, chest pain, palpitations and breathlessness that were thought to be due to heart disease and yet when you took them to the cardiac catheter lab they invariably had completely normal coronary arteries and for many years nobody really understood why this was the case. More recently we've seen the same situation in women who, who present with actual heart attacks in casualty with all the full-blown symptoms and ECG changes and yet they have normal coronary arteries and for many years it was therefore thought to be a psychological condition hence the name Syndrome X, nobody really understood it. More recently we've now realised that in many of these individuals the problem is actually downstream in the coronary arteries in the microcirculation which is at a level where the vessels are so small that they're invisible to the naked, naked eye. And so Syndrome X is now being replaced by the term microvascular angina. Through the very nature of ECP's action, it works at the microcirculation level. And it has a number of important benefits, primarily stemming through its uh, beneficial action on endothelial function. And so we see during ECP, particularly in, in heart muscle, which is short of blood supply, the growth of new blood vessels, a term called angiogenesis. The majority of people who have Syndrome X or microvascular angina suffer in silence. Typically they will have been going to see doctors, be their GP or specialists, for many, many years with multiple admissions to hospital with chest pain and multiple invasive investigations including often several angiograms and because nothing is revealed by these tests they're often given antidepressants or referred for psychiatric counselling and unfortunately that remains the way today for the vast majority of women who suffer from this condition. My vision for the future is that ECP treatment in Syndrome X or microvascular angina will become one of the, the, the treatments of, of the options that people will choose to have. But before we can reach that point, education both of the, of the patients themselves and the cardiologists who are currently seeing these individuals needs to take place. And until we have a broader understanding of what the condition means and how ECP can help, it's going to be some time before we reach that happy ending.